I think most men are not as sentimental as women are. And, uh, and I am a crybaby. And he, he did tell me, he said, you know, you got one day to cry and then that's it, then we fight. And um, I tried to do that, but it didn't work out that way <laughs> because I'm always worrying about something. Um, and he was just always there. You know, when, whenever he took care of everything, you know, he made my meals for me, you know, and I had to have meals with no fat in them or low fat or, you know, whatever. Uh, before I went to have my chemo, I had to, or, or right after I had the chemo, I had to have the uh, glucosamine. And, you know, he made sure that I, you know, had all of that. And um, if I hadn't had him there, I probably never would have <laughs> remembered everything and who knows I may not be here I, I don't know I you know we, we walked the walk together and um, fought the fight and so far we're, we're lucky I didn't really particularly make myself as a caregiver in fact I really hadn't paid attention to that word until mostly everything was over with and and we got involved with some boards and stuff to try to help give back to, you know, help um, get research money or whatever for lung cancer. But um, I did stuff I didn't think I could do, and I think anybody can. Uh, just, I think I use the um, <laughs> uh, example of if, if a baby throws up on the floor, you're gonna have two puddles because I don't take that very well. <laughs> And, uh, and with Nancy and the stuff, you know, that she had and had to go through, it didn't bother me that way as much. You know, you just didn't think about it. And I didn't think about being a caregiver. I just, I felt like a husband. I mean, I felt like that's what I'm supposed to do, and that is what I'm supposed to do. Sam is, is strong in a completely different way than um, when you say somebody is strong. Um, he, he is... Um, it's hard to explain. It's like he knows what to do and how to do it. Um, you know, he knew how to get me through this. And um, for that, I will forever be grateful. I mean, you know, he's my husband, but, you know, he still can be grateful. Um, but he's... Uh, and, and caring, you know, he uh, he just he just was there. He, he's a good, you know, person and um, goofy as heck. <laughs> but um, yeah, he just knew how to get me through it and and did what he had to do, and um, and it worked. <laughs>